All right, so this is a quick one on how to deal with outliers, um, how to take them out of your data so you don't have to have them in there messing up correlations and means and whatnot. All right, so we've created a new variable called PC mom down here at the end. And so I want to check and see if there are any outliers on that. The first thing I need to do is go in and create Z scores on that. So analyze descriptive statistics descriptives. I'm going to pop over my variable PC mom and I'm going to check that box to say save standardized and notice it underlines the Z for you Z values save standardized values as variables and then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Looks lovely I can definitely see it's a little bit skewed to the negative end we have a little bit of kurtosis going on so let's go back and check and see how those Z scores look. We can just pop back to our data set we can then right click on it. I can see one already. We can hit sort ascending. There we go. So our two negative outliers are at the top. Let's go ahead and check the other end of the distribution by just going ahead and scrolling down. And down there, our highest Z score on the positive end is a 1.19. Definitely not an outlier. These, however, on the negative end are both outliers. Anything greater than a 3.29 as an absolute value is an outlier. So this one's an outlier and that one's an outlier. And I can see, luckily it's right next to the variable I'm looking at. I can see that the values on PC mom that are problematic are 1.0 and 1.10. Um, so anything actually less than a two would work in this case because greater than a two would be our next value. You just need to pick any value between these if we wanna go ahead and use it as missing data and put that into the variable view. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to click on, we'll see, variable view. And I'm going to come down here and I want to make sure I'm setting the variables, um, the missing values for the actual variable. So in this case, PC mom, not for the Z scores on PC mom. So I'm going to go in here and I can use the range. And the range at this point is um, anything from zero to 2.0 it will consider missing and I can go ahead and click on OK at that point. If we also had some missing values that are just you know, one of the usual ones we use um, to just mark missing values is 9.0. So if we had that um, missing values of 9 we could go ahead and mark that as that extra discrete missing value and hit OK. Then we can go ahead and hop back to our data. And it preserves the data, it's still here, but you'll notice that if we reanalyze that, we'll go ahead and grab some descriptives again. You will notice that our originally, our originally, our original values on that were from one to seven with a mean of 5.53. Now we've taken that missing value out and we can tell that it worked because now our minimum is 2.17 and our maximum is seven. And that was the first, that 2.17 was the first value that was not an outlier. So we cut it correctly. And our skewness improved, but only slightly. And our kurtosis, kurtosis, our kurtosis got a lot better. Our skewness didn't change too much. So at this point, we've adjusted that variable in a relatively okay way. Another way you could have dealt with it um, and especially if you have outliers at both the positive and the negative end, then using the missing data command won't work. So the other thing you can do is just come in here and hit your delete key, but make sure that you actually note what you deleted. So we deleted a value of one and a value of 1.1. And those were from ID numbers. 247 had a value of 1.0 and person number one had a value of 1.1. And by re recording those, now I haven't lost that data. If I find something's wrong, I can always go back and find that data again. And I've clearly indicated what was an outlier. So there are two ways to deal with outliers.